London travelled to Carrick on Shannon hoping to record only their third ever championship win and their second in this campaign after a memorable one point victory over Sligo. The sides met recently in the league, a game that Leitrim won in a Division 4 encounter by two points, and it was a grey dull afternoon that greeted both sides at Park Sean McDermott. And it was Leitrim who were on the scoreboard almost immediately as Paddy McGowan's effort bounced up and over London goalkeeper Declan Trainer. London, though, responded and they got the equalising score from their captain, Seamus Hannan, pointing for the Exiles against a very strong breeze. Darren Sweeney put Leitrim back in front. Paddy McGoldrick equalised for London and Paul Coggan's side then took the lead for the first time as Lorcan Mulvey got his first score of the afternoon, cutting in from the left-hand side. Leitrim levelled through an Emlyn Mulligan free, but the captain left the field injured shortly afterwards. But it seemed to matter not as Leitrim scored three points to London's one, the third of those coming from the boot of McGowan. Just before the half-time whistle, London hit the front again with the opening goal. A high hopeful ball by Podrick McGoldrick wasn't dealt with by the Leitrim goalkeeper, Cahill McCran. Lorcan Mulvey bundled the ball over the line and the umpire signalled the goal. The referee, Barry Cassidy, came in to consult with the umpires and after a brief word, awarded the goal. And London led 1-4 to six points at half-time. It took fully seven minutes for either side to register a score in the second half, and it came the way of a Leitrim equaliser as Kevin Conlon put a point over for his side. London's response was to take the lead once again, and it was their goalkeeper, Declan Trainer, who provided the score. A 45 was just about crept over to put a side back in front. But Leitrim took control of the game at that point and should really have been out of sight had their shooting been of a better quality. This Brendan Brennan point added to scores from Danny Beck and Robbie Lowe and Leitrim were now two up. But London got their second goal on 58 minutes and it was their substitute Sean Kelly who supplied the finish, being allowed to go an awful long way before looping it over McCran in the Leitrim goal. Cahill McGee then scored a point for London with time running out and it seemed as if London were on their way to another historic victory as they now led by two. But Leitrim didn't panic and responded. Paddy McGowan set up Darren Sweeney and he managed to fist one over the bar to reduce the margin to one. And in the very last minute, Leitrim struck again as Kevin Conlon, off balance and then injured, managed to put the ball over the bar to level up the contest. The sides will have to do it all again next Sunday as the game ended in a draw here in Carrick and Shannon. A full-time score, Leitrim 13 points, London 2 goals and 7. It's it a swirling wind out, out here, like you know, and it was it was it, it proved like you know, London I suppose had a, their number wise in the first half too, so against a bit of a breeze it, it proved a bit very, very difficult for us. But listen, we're lucky to get out of jail and we're lucky to have the draw, you know, and next weekend we're we're back to, back in action again. We'll go in there and we'll work again. Like I just keep saying, it's half time. We got to get out, ready again next Sunday. When the green light goes on, we're ready for action. And that's it. We know we can compete, and we will compete. Great excitement! And Kevin McStay, you you can tell us why the replay has been fixed for Hyde Park in Roscommon next Sunday rather than London. Yeah, the the, um, the kind of council have a, a long term a strategic arrangement with London in terms of, of the Connacht Championship. So they, they get a home venue every year, which is fairly decent if you think about it, and they get the gate, of course. Uh, but once and, and the Connacht Council pays for the... Oh, yeah, there's a subvention then for the travelling team. Um, but once uh, that first round is out of the way, all games thereafter for London will be in Connacht. And I know people are talking, well, didn't they play in London in the qualifiers? It's different different phase of the championship, obviously. But I think the Roscommon venue, well, it's good for... Good for London, obviously. They should stay around for the week and have a training camp maybe up in Roscommon. Uh, Leitrim, not too far away. And I think for even for Roscommon uh, town itself, uh, with the Connacht final not going to be played there, I think it's, uh, it's a good venue for them as well. I know some people will feel, though, London deserve to get a go in their own backyard. Possibly, but I presume that's the... the that's when, the, yeah, when that's the, the rules. Into the yeah, competition, yeah. the rules are the rules. Yeah. Do you know one of the criticisms that's often thrown at me uh, that I'm very unfair... <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot there's of there. Go, don't go too much. But, but I'd, I'd often be un that I'm very unfair on criticising teams because they're Division 3 and Division 4, which is a lot of, which is absolutely unfair mm. to those div teams in Division 3 or Division 4 because teams in Division 3, teams in Division 4 are capable of high-quality football, of producing exciting, enjoyable games. And today's game in Carrick was that. It was exciting, it was enjoyable. One of the best of the provincial 
provincial championships to date and it was very high quality at times and a draw was a fair result and it's a great advertisement for the provincial championships. You can say what you like about the plight of the weaker counties. The provincial championships offer the best route for the weaker counties to get to a provincial final or maybe to even win a provincial final. And the reason why that is because it's knockout. You can beat the big dog, the big gun once, but when they come through a back door, you won't beat them a second time. So all I can say tonight, a really enjoyable game and fair play to London and to Leeds for giving you such an enjoyable game and I'm looking forward to the replay next Sunday. Okay, and that, as I say, is in Roscommon next Sunday. Well, the match of the day...